These pictures were taken with a 35 millimeter camera from 1950 up to date. That's Doc Lily's barn and the location of uh, the Holiday Inn. There's the farm garden in 1950. There's another shot of the farm garden in Doc Lily's barn. There's a couple of Holstein cattle out there in the field. We'll talk about this garden later. Here's a shot looking south to Charlie Kine's farm, part of Springdale or Singing Hills, edition number one. There's a shot looking over towards um, Stein's Garden Center or where Springdale Road would come down eventually. That's about the area where Springdale Road would come down, where all those trees are. Here's a picture of the, the barn that was on the farm. This is traffic, traffic coming in on Labor Day. Coming in on Highway 30, heading back into Milwaukee. That's when Blue Mound was State Highway 30. Highway 30 was a controlled access highway and the owner of the property had to drive down through the field in order to get to the house that he had built there. Here's a shot of Carly, Charlie Kine's farm again. And uh, on the left, above the swing set, you can see they're cutting in the grade for Arlen store, which is now Coles. And over here on the right, we have uh, some houses and some roads being cut in, like Avalon Drive. Another shot of Charlie Kine's farm. And it looks like this is the sequence where they started burning the farm down. On the right you can see the smoke. Yeah, there's smoke coming out of the barn. Well, now the roof of the barn, cow barn section is starting to burn real good. You can see the walls of uh, Arlen stores up there. Boy, the barn is really going now. Fire's really getting hot. Anybody get any marshmallows? Yeah, Pewaukee Fire Department's all the way around the building. There, the barn is fully engulfed and is heading for the horse barn. There you can see Ireland stored near completion and they're cutting roads into the Kiso farm. On Laura Lane, you can see a Sunnyside Rambling Rose. They're digging the sewers in there. I wonder if we can get over far enough to see where Jack Griffin and Midas is. Ooh, a lot of dust on the film. Oh, I guess we can't see it in the shot. There's some more work being done on 
Avalon and Laura Lane. Yeah, the houses are coming down in Avalon. Building houses to beat heck. More houses on Avalon and Rambling Rose. And Sunnyside. There you can see Ireland's store is almost complete. Parked underneath a thunder cloud. I had to add this picture in. Look at that beautiful cloud. And they're putting sewers in. The first sewers in the Kiso farm at Laura Lane and uh, Reuben. This is around July 1967. And there's the lumber for the first house being built on Reuben and uh, Avalon Drive. There's also one in the corner of uh, Laura in Avalon. There they're starting to cut the road in on uh, Saratoga Road. There's another shot with more houses coming in on uh, Laura and Sunnyside. Maybe one on Ramona up there. Late summer 1968, more houses in Singing Hills edition number two. And they're building more houses on Sunnyside and uh, Rambling Rose. Look at that. They're starting to dig the basements for the duplexes on Reuben Drive. More houses on Laura, Laura Lane and Avalon. There's some houses on the uh, east end of Sunnyside and uh, Rambling Rose over in Springdale. More houses are being built in the subdivision again. October 1969, Saratoga. They're digging the uh, holes for the duplexes. The snows of 1970. Boy, they're sure building houses now. Look at that. Even building more on Ireland store. Saratoga's got a whole bunch of duplexes built up on them. Look at that. 
some more snows from 1970. But look at the houses down on Reuben and Laura and Sunnyside. Now this is where our garden used to be. You can still see Doc Lilly's barn up there for reference. But this is the lower drive of the Meadows Apartments Complex. That's what's left of the old barn. They're getting close to demolition time. People come in and take barn boards off. This animal on the left, he didn't care what the barn looked like. He just knocked her down. And if we can look way in the background, we might zoom in on it. Right down there, just to the left of center of the picture, is PDQ being built on uh, Highway 18, Moreland Road. And there's the first buildings in the meadows. 2402 is going up. First floor is on. Around March 1971. Twenty four twenty building just to the north of that is going in. This is the old farmhouse and they're putting uh, storm sewers in the field just to the west of the old farmhouse. And it looks like Doc Lilly's barn is down. Well the house is still standing yet. Just to the left of center underneath that tree. Well, 2402's got a roof on it. Spring of 1971. More sewers going into the field. More grading being done for some more buildings like 2404. They're digging some of the ground away to level the property off for them. Some more apartment buildings. There's another duplex on the north side of Reuben. And Singing Hills is filling up fast. The house in the center is the first one built, if you remember right. There, 2420. It's got the second floor on. Twenty four twenty is with the second floor. Yep, the Holiday Inn is coming in. Look at there. Where Doc Lilly's barn used to be, there's the Holiday Inn. It looks like the old farmhouse is down, too. Get that cat out of here.
That's better. Looks like 2420 is done. We're almost done anyway. Now they're cutting more grade down for 2406. Now they cut through the line fence, taking the topsoil off of Cheney's field also. This is the fall of 1972. Spring of 1973. And all that topsoil they took off is all piled east of the line fence. You can see that line fence right there. Yards upon yards of it. There's another shot of that big pile of dirt. Oh, the old farmhouse is still there yet. Somebody must have goofed up these slides. But it's boarded up. The people vacated the house. Some more greeting, subgrading for the uh, building 2408. There's a tree that they left standing in line fence. That tree is still growing yet on the east side of 2408. Now the farmhouse is down. And they're doing more grading, more subgrading. Some more grading, cutting the roads in. There's a compactor on the left, compacting the parking lot. There they're cutting the road in that circles through the uh, Meadows Complex. 2406 basement is up. Twenty four twelve is being cut in. Snow on the roof. They'll get the shingles on pretty soon. But looking singing hills. Almost completely filled in. There's twenty four twelve and the tennis courts. You look close, you can see the tennis courts, the left side of the picture. There, 2412 is almost done. And 2412 is done. And there's Springdale Apartments from the uh, area between 2428 and 2430. Looking towards Springdale Apartments. Looking towards southeast. A lot of snow on the ground and they're still cutting out for 2408. The bottom apartment there and for the one where they got the basement wall up here, 2410. Late fall, 1975. Here the road is cut in and to serve the meadows from Blue Mound Road. And 2410's got his first floor on, or a lot of it. They're putting the asphalt drives in for 2412. 
2412 is occupied. 2410 is almost done. Twenty four ten almost com completion. Fall in nineteen seventy six, a storm put some plywood of theirs right through the fence. Here's the twenty four fourteen's basement going in, and the first floor on twenty four fourteen. And they're cutting away the piles of dirt. Oh, it must be a jam in the projector. There are 24, 30, and 32 are being built. 24, 30 is almost done. 24, 32's basement is in. And they shot between 2414 and 2430, uh, 32. 2434 is almost done. They're grading around it. They're cutting some more of the uh, parking lot in on the south side. Ah, New Year's Eve, 1980. Some celebrant backed into the fence post with the front end of his vehicle, knocked off the corner post, broke it, parked his car on it for quite a while. But in the summertime, it makes a nice looking neighborhood. Look at that. There's the last remaining parts of the old farmhouse, the west basement wall. And 24. 24 and 24, 26 are going up. Here's the basement of 24, 28. And look at how high Springdale Road is. Now they shot the materials for 24, 24 and 26. And the last three units are being closed up. In the fall of 84, 24, 28 is almost done.